Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anuta, the Grocery World. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a bookmark. And I've made this one with my 100% cotton yarn. And I've used here my 2.5 mm of the hook. So let's begin. Okay, so for this one, have your yarn and make a slip knot here like this and now i'm gonna chain five so chain up five it's one two three four and five now yarn over three times one two and three this is your double treble crochet now insert your hook into your this last chain from your hook so insert your hook into your last chain and grab your yarn and now you're gonna have one two three four and five loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops for second time yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops for the third time and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops for the fourth time and your work will look like this and now we will work on this double treble crochet and for that one yarn over and insert your hook into this space and grab your yarn yarn over for one more time that's your second time insert your hook and grab your yarn yarn over for the third time insert your hook and grab your yarn yarn over for the fourth time insert your hook and grab your yarn yarn over for the fifth time insert your hook and grab your yarn yarn over for the sixth time grab your yarn yarn over for the seventh time yarn over for the eighth time and yarn over for the ninth time so here i have yarned over for nine times and now i'm gonna yarn over and pull my yarn through two loops like this so that's two loops now again yarn over and pull your yarn through three loops so it's three loops like this yarn over and pull your yarn through three loops that's the third time yarn over for the fourth time and pull your yarn through three loops yarn over for the fifth time and pull your yarn through three loops yarn over and yarn over for the sixth time and pull your yarn through three loops and yarn over for the seventh time and pull your yarn through three loop yarn over for the eighth time and pull your yarn through three loops and yarn over for the ninth time and pull your yarn through three loop and you're gonna left with two loops on your hook like this so yarn over and pull your yarn through last two loops and that's in total you have yarned over for about 10 times so for the first time you have yarned over and pull your yarn through two loops only and then you have yarned over and pull your yarn through three loops until your uh, ninth time and for the tenth time for the last time yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops like this and now i'm gonna chain one and if you can see here is your uh, stitches so i'm gonna insert my hook into this this stitches so here this is this is my first stitch and i'm gonna insert my hook into my this first stitch this is the strain of yarn not exactly the stitch but the strain of yarn and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my first single crochet and i'm gonna have nine single crochets here so this is my first single crochet that's my second single crochet insert your hook into this third strain of yarn make your third single crochet into your fourth strain of yarn your fourth single crochet into the fifth strain of yarn fifth single crochet into the sixth strain of yarn six single crochet into the seventh one seven single crochet into the eighth one eight single crochet and into the ninth one this is your last strain of yarn insert your hook and make your ninth single crochet and your work will look like this and now i'm gonna yarn over and will insert my hook into my this space for one more time and will grab the yarn and i'm gonna make my 10th stitch here so i'm gonna make a double crochet here like this and this side is done and now we will go to this next side now here as we have chained up five on this five chains we are gonna have 10 single crochets so insert your hook into this space grab your yarn and make your single crochet 
keep on doing your 10 single crochets here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and my last single crochet, 10th single crochet. And it looks like this enough here this is my first single crochet of my this round i'm going to insert my hook into my this first single crochet remember this is my chain one so this is my first yarn over and this is my chain one and this is my first single crochet if you can see from here this is my first single crochet and i'm going to insert my hook into my this first single crochet of that side grab the yarn and make a slip stitch and your first circle is done Sorry about this one. This is my loose end. I've just weaved this loose end in. So I'm just going to hide this one. Yeah. So it looks like this. And this is your first circle. And now we are going to repeat this pattern. So for this one, again, we are going to chain up five. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to have a double triple here. So yarn over for three times one two and three insert your hook into that same stitch where you have made your slip stitch grab your yarn in and yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops for the second time yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops for the third time and yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops for the fourth time like this and now we're gonna yarn over and we'll insert our hook directly into this space and we're going to do it for nine times. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine times. Enough. We're going to yarn over and pull our yarn through ten times. So it's yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only for the first time. And then yarn over and spool your yarn through three loops. So it's second time that's third that's fourth fifth six seven eight and nine now at the end you're gonna left with your two uh, loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yeah, like this now chain one and find out your first um, strain of yarn here. So this is this is my first strain of yarn. And I'm going to insert my hook into my this first strain of yarn. And here you're going to have your nine strain of yarn. So you're going to have your nine single crochets. It's one, two, three, four, five, five six seven eight and ninth and now for the our tenth stitch our last stitch yarn over and insert your hook into that space grab your yarn and make your double crochet here sorry like this and now we will go to this uh, side of our work so for that one have you yarn from here from the back have you yarn from your back and insert your hook into this space and grab your yarn and make it 10 single crochets here so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and now we, we are going to insert our hook into our this first single crochet from the other side insert your hook into that first stitch for single crochet grab your yarn and make a slip stitch here And now keep on doing this pattern, keep on repeating this pattern until your required length. So keep on making your circles 
and I'm going to meet you after my few circles. I'm going to make about five circles in here. And here it is. I've got my length enough. This is my last stitch. I've made my this slip stitch in here. And now I will pull my yarn and I'm going to leave a longer tail here. And I will cut my yarn just a little longer, not too big, just a little longer. We're going to make up a tassel in here. So for that one, have your yarn and just put your yarn around your fingers. Now I'm going to put my fingers in this way. I'm going to leave some gap in here and just round them up about 20, 22, 23, 25 times. I'm going to round them on my fingers about 20 times. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's going to be all right, I guess. And now I'm going to cut my yarn. So around 22, 23, just get the thickness or whatever thickness you want about your, for your tassel. Now for this one, I'm going to take this yarn, this loose end, and I'm going to have the needle in here. And I will just insert in this one like this and I'll turn my work and will attach my this tassel here. Now I will simply put my yarn around my this tassel so it's I will simply take one string of yarn from here and will make my knot here. Now insert your this needle. Take this out. That's it, and it is nice and secure. And now we're gonna cut our tassel. Here it is, it's almost done, and now trim your ed edges. So, the edges of your tassel, just trim them up, level them up, and here it is, your tassel is ready. And here it is, my bookmark is ready and I hope you have liked my today's tutorial. If you have liked, please like, share and comment on my videos and please, please, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you into the next video. Till then, bye.